Okay. I'm happy with that. Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. I don't know what's over there. I don't know if I'm showing you the light, but welcome guys. Hi guys. If you're new here, my name is Sandra and I've been MIA. <sighs> Hi guys. Long time. No see. Um <sighs> It's been a while i think i haven't filmed a video since july or june or was it august i think it was july august because the last video was before i went on holiday yeah august i think anyways yeah around that summer <coughs> summer basically i've been gone for a while but for very very good and valid reasons um first reason is i've moved um, me and my boyfriend, we moved into kind of like a more homey, kind of smaller apartment because the apartment we had before, it was peng. It was lovely. The views were everything, but it was just too big. I know it's weird to say that, but it was, it was, it was a bit big. It was a bit big. Um, and we never, it never felt like a home. Like it never felt like I can call this my home. But the place that we've moved into now is a lot, it's just it's so nice. We furnished it really nicely. The decor is amazing. I might do an apartment tour, I might. I'm very private, but I might. So yeah, uh, yeah, so I've moved. That was one. Um, two, I've been really busy with business. Now, 2020 has been so hard for everyone, I'm getting, I am don't know, probably for everybody, but it's been especially hard for, like, everyone that's self-employed. It's been so hard. The uncertainty, the working and not working, the... If you work in hair, the fact that the lace industry has been tits up for months and probably will be to the end of this year. Um, it's just been a lot. Like, business-wise, it's been a lot. So, with that being said, I've just had to put my head down and in and just focus on everything business. Any clients that I do have, any hair orders that we do have, just making sure, you know, we get them out, we get them going. We continue to slow clients that want their hair done. Luckily, everybody wants their hair done. So, yeah, that's been that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very blessed because I feel like during this pandemic, it's weird because during the pandemic, I do feel like my skills and my overall installs are getting so much better. Like, they just look clean, they're coming out how I vision it, you know, like, it's just making me happy to see, like, each install that I do, it's just hitting where I want it to hit, and I love that feeling. So, even though it has been hard, you know, business-wise, production-wise, install-wise, and my skill-wise, I can't complain, like, I'm just so grateful, I just can't complain. So, that's been that. Um, so yeah, that's what's been happening business-wise and moving-wise. Moving house, moving apartments, it wasn't that bad because I'm still kind of in the same kind of area, but um, we've just moved. So moving wasn't too bad. We had some friends come over and help, family came over and helped. That was really nice. Um, yeah, we moved in end of September to the beginning yeah end of september like i want to say like mid-september actually like 18th of september around that time is when we moved i feel like everything is all over the place right now because i'm not even doing this in order going back <laughs> to august um me and my partner celebrated our five-year anniversary that happened in august um 
that was really nice we went out for dinner i'll leave like a a clip here of how that day went <laughs> Breakfast with a bee. Happy anniversary. Oh, you look so nice. I'm try with you. I need you to stay. I need you to stay. I need you to stay. And then um, we spontaneously des decided to um, go on holiday. We went on holiday after our anniversary. Yeah, after anniversary is when we went to um, Cyprus. Oh, it, it was amazing. Cyprus was beautiful. Like I've never been before, and when we went, it was just, it was lovely. It's a really nice couples destination as well. If you are looking to go with your partner or whatever and it's a nice family destination as well but obviously i went for a couple's reason um so that was really nice i'll leave the clips of us there here so you guys can watch so guys we just finished playing some chess you know some midday games <laughs> I haven't walked on sand in so long. There he is, guys. Oh. Oh, we chips and some salad. And my boyfriend got a club sandwich with chips as well. These chips? I'm eating, eating your chips, sir. Imagine. Um, so yeah, that was that trip, which was really nice. Last Massive month. change in my life. By now, you guys would have already seen, but I am pregnant. <laughs> um, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's just... <laughs> it's crazy, basically. It's crazy. It's surreal. It's just unbelievably... speechless um oh i wanted you know what i've wanted i've wanted a kid for so long i've wanted to be a mom for i know i'm only 23 okay you're young ugh. but um i don't know i've always just had this urge it's weird it's weird like i want to say urge but a a calling that was nice i've always had this calling to be or to want to be a mother um and the fact that it's now coming true <laughs> it's just i can't stop smiling like every it's <sighs> definitely the happiest i've ever been in my life like i just 
I can't believe I just can't believe it. <laughs> I just I just can't believe it. So um yeah, I'm pregnant. Um I don't mind telling you guys the gender. I'm having a boy. Um yes. As you would have expected, my boyfriend is so happy. He is so excited at the fact that we're actually having a boy because obviously at first I thought I was having a girl only because everyone was telling me that I'm carrying high because my bump was like pretty high um at the scan she was like do you want to know and then we was like of course but at first I didn't want to know I didn't want to know but because my boyfriend wanted to know I felt like I had to know because if one day you know he was to be like oh babe um, I'm just gonna go get him some shoes or babe, his room is mm, or babe, his or her. I'll be like, baby, you, you just told me what we're having. Like you didn't even give me a you know, so I didn't want that. So I just I just said, you know what? Let me know. I I don't mind. And then yeah, at the scan she said it's a boy. He was so excited. As soon as we left, he FaceTimed all of his boys and was like, guys. Project Mbappe starts now. <laughs> you know what? I just, I looked at them. I just said, we'll see. We'll see. We'll, don't get, we'll, we'll see. We're both so happy. Like, I've wanted one for ages. I've wanted a child for ages. And I've always said it to him. But, you know, he would be like, oh, I'm not ready yet, or not yet, let's wait. And obviously, I respected that. And then one day, one day, guys, out of the blue, out of the blue, he was like to me, babe, let's have a child. I said, huh? I said, don't play. I said, I said, don't play. Don't play with me because you know I'm having... Hmm? The room's... Don't play with me. <laughs> so he was like, I'm serious. I'm being serious. So after that, we started planning. And feeling him kick. Feeling him do the maddest somersaults. Feeling him just... Feeling and knowing that there is a life inside of there. <sighs> I just smiled to myself. Any tips? Any advice? Um... Any nice advice, nice advice, please leave in the comments below because I would love to know. I'm learning day by day. Um, I'm experiencing everything as it's coming. Um, yeah, that's where I've been. <laughs> so I hope you guys understand why I've been MIA. It's never been intentional. It's never been, I couldn't be bothered or she's forgot about YouTube, she's not coming back, no. Literally, the pandemic slapped me business-wise, so I had to get my head in the game all the way, literally back to back. Um, and then the pregnancy, I've been working whilst I've been pregnant, uh, so that's been, you know, another thing as well. And then moving, that's another thing. I haven't really found a good setup yet. I just put this camera here for now. I might keep it here. Um, I might stay here. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm still figuring out the house. Still figuring out what lighting I like, where I like it, what, what I want my background to be, etc. Um, so, yeah, I'm just happy that I was able to get this news out there. And, you know, before the new year ends so that I can come back in the new year and not have to hide anything. I've hid this for so many months, guys. <laughs> and now that I can announce it and I've, I've freed myself of this amazing information, it's like now I don't have to hide a bump or I don't have to hide the fact that I've put on weight and worry if somebody's noticed or if they'll leave a comment or, you know, like I can just be free. <laughs> and yeah, I haven't even posted on Instagram like properly since like, july august so you know that was another thing as well and now i can post my bump i can you know just share just share me share me with you guys all over again 
Um, it's definitely going to get some getting used to because my body has gone through so many changes. <laughs> um, but I'm just blessed. Every change, every, you know, I'm just embracing it. I'm embracing it because I've wanted this for so long. And now that it's here, I'm going to cherish every moment. Every <laughs> moment. So I will be back, definitely. More consistent videos. I'm off because of this current tier four. <sighs> I don't even want to talk about. I don't even want to even. I, don't, I cannot even formulate a sentence when I think about this tier four stuff because... It's just so stressful. It's just, you know, it's it's stressful. It's annoying. It's it's just it's unbelievable the way the government has handled this. Like, I just can't believe it. Like they're grown people who can't lock down a country properly when we're meant to be like what the I think we're like what top five or top six richest countries in the world and we don't have sense we don't have sense F 40 countries have locked us off but we can't lock ourselves off why haven't we closed our borders why haven't we done tests at airports why are we not controlling this properly why are we doing eat out to help out why are we doing tears why are we like it's ju it just does not make sense and every time we come in and out of lockdown, it's just like, so yeah, anyways, that's enough of me explaining my, or just talking about that situation. So yeah, anyways, I'm fully here, back. Even when I do go back to work, whenever that is, I will still be here because I can now vlog myself doing clients and show my bump. I can, you know, show you all the baby stuff that we've bought show you the pen pram that i got it's almost like a new segment of my life that i'm about to come and show you guys like <sighs> so yeah i did ask on instagram for some questions um like any questions personal business etc but i feel like i only subjected that to instagram so now that i've you know given you guys like sections of where i've been if there are any questions that you guys want to ask me business personal mental whatever please leave them down in the comments below on Insta on youtube as well it can be youtube or my instagram whatever i think here's probably better because it can just all be in one section because the one on instagram was like an ask me a question thing so it'll definitely be gone by the time this goes up um so yeah, any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And I will do a separate video, like a long video, addressing any questions, um, everything, pretty much. I will do a Q&A with my partner, if you would like. Any questions you want to ask us together, more than happy to do that. Yeah, guys, thank you so much. Oh my God, how can I forget? Thank you so much for 2,000 subscribers. Like, huh? <laughs> like, the fact that I haven't posted a video in so long and my followers were still increasing is insane. I just, I can't believe it. So that gave me the motivation to to just, I said, no, I have to come back. I have to. I, because what I was going to do is I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to, I don't think I was going to come back. But because of the announcement and I just didn't want to hide myself or have to worry, oh my God, is the camera too low? Oh my God, can they see like, oh my God, 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 oh my God. I just didn't want that. But now that I'm free, I'm here, we can go again, we can continue I'm going to even invest in a new camera because I don't know if you guys know, I've been recording all my videos on my phone and I feel like I am starting to get restricted in terms of like how I want to video or when I want to like zoom in on myself or if how my background blurred or basically the quality, I'm ready for an upgrade. I'm ready to take YouTube seriously. I'm ready to give you guys quality content vlogs business talks personal talks 
makeup stuff, hair stuff. Because you guys have been asking me as well, like how I maintain my hair, what I do, how I do it, you know, how my stylist does it. Because I get, listen, I'm a stylist, but I get my hair done as well. Listen, I like the feeling as well of me sitting in a chair and just, babe, do my hair. Do whatever you want, babes. Take control. I'm probably like the least pickiest person when it comes to my hair, my nails, anything. I'm very just, okay, babe, I'm here. She'd be like, okay, so what cut are we doing? I said, babe, go with the wind. Just leave me long at the front and go with the wind, babes. So that's what we do. That's how we roll. She creates amazingness for me every time. So yeah, I'm willing to do, um, are you, I can even do a video like her time lapse of her doing my hair when I go to my next appointment. Um, but yeah, there's just, I just feel like there's just so much to share with you guys now. Um, yeah, I got my nails done. I'm so happy. Oh my God. I did my nails on Friday. And then for Boris to come and announce on Saturday that there's lockdown, I just said, thank you, Jesus. Because the state of my nails before... If he had said lockdown and my nails were looking like what they were looking like. <laughs> yeah, I got my nails done. And oh, these are probably the pengus set I have ever done. Let me show you like this. These are probably the pengus set I have ever done. Like, they just give me classy. They give me rich bitch vibes. They give me, will you marry me? That's not a word rings, promise rings. Um, <laughs> but will you marry me, you know? A moment of silence for the nails. Thank you. And with that being said, <laughs> um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna chill with my son. And just vibes, honey, just vibes. I'm gonna find something to eat as well because Oh my god anyways we'll do a video everything about pregnancy that i've learned so far any questions anything you want to know about my experience leave it in the comments below and i'll answer it i'm here guys use me but um yeah any negative comments please i i, I don't want that <laughs> that was the reason why that was partly the reason why i didn't want to talk so Let's leave the negativity over there. Positivity is over here. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm so grateful for everybody that has subscribed, that watches me, that comments, that likes, that shares, that is living life positively. I'm very happy. See you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.